Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again before a radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. We're glad that you all could be with us. Also, it's joining us through our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, I think all of us know isolation is something that we've dealt with from time to time, especially during the pandemic. This is definitely true when it comes to older adults. Studies show that nearly a quarter of older adults were socially isolated and unfortunately, that number has increased to 40%. Now that we're thinking about this month, one of the big things that's talked about is Valentine's Day, right? So it may be difficult for older ones to be able to be with their loved ones or to even feel like anyone's caring about them. Well, there's something that all of us can do and be a part of. It's called Wish of a Lifetime from AARP. We're excited to welcome Tom Wagonlander to our program. Tom is the executive director of Wish of a Lifetime from AARP. We're going to talk to Tom not only about what the program is, but also how you all can be a part of it through their Cupid crew. Thank you so much for the time, Tom. Really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you having me. So as I mentioned, AARP has this wish of a lifetime. First of all, tell our audience what that is, Tom. Yeah, so uh, Wish of a Lifetime is an official charitable affiliate of AARP, and our mission is to help people fulfill their dreams uh, by granting their lifelong wishes and then sharing those stories to inspire uh, people of all ages to really think of aging differently uh, and to shift their perceptions on what it means to age in our society. So that's what we do typically uh, 365 days of the year is, is grant the lifelong wishes of deserving older adults. But then every year, as you alluded to on Valentine's Day, we also mobilize a, an army of volunteers to uh, reach out to isolated older adults and, and show them that we're, we're thinking of them. Yeah, such an important thing, and especially with everything that we've been dealing with uh, through this pandemic. As I mentioned, our audience has a part, Tom, of being a, being a part of the, the Cupid crew. Talk to our audience about that, what that is, and who's participating with you in this. So Cupid Crew is that effort to spread love on Valentine's Day. It's a, it's a program that we run uh, in partnership with Girl Scouts of the USA, as well as schools and, and individuals all across the country. Uh, in a typical year, we'll get some 40,000 volunteers uh, delivering almost a quarter of a million cards throughout the country to isolated older adults. We call these individuals our, our Cupid Crews um, and just really encourage people to learn how they can be part of it, uh, to visit our website, wishoflifetime.org slash Cupid, to download uh, card templates, get ideas on, on what you can include in those, in those um, cards, and then just send them out to isolated individuals in, in your network or your, your neighborhood. Love that. And even our, our radio audience here in Mississippi can be involved in that. I mean, what have you guys noticed, Tom, um, when it comes to uh, in, in our state about those who have been socially isolated and how they've been impacted? Yeah, so, you know, even before the pandemic, uh, isolation and loneliness was a growing concern. It's really just been exacerbated um, as a result of the pandemic. And actually, in Mississippi itself, um, over 75% or 70 percent of individuals over the age of 65 are at risk for isolation. And unfortunately, the, the effects of that are, are quite profound. Um, it can, studies have shown it can be worse on someone's overall health than obesity um, and actually uh, can be equivalent to uh, smoking 15 cigarettes a day. So it's really un wow. unfortunate um, that so many individuals are, are living in a, uh, with a sense of isolation and loneliness. Um, but it's pretty simple to make a difference in, in individuals' lives. It's, as simple as sending a card on, on Valentine's Day. Well, what a great thing. Tom, I'm so glad you're here to talk to us about this. Again, everyone, Tom Wagonlander has been our guest. He's the executive director of Wish of a Lifetime from AARP. Again, he mentioned the website that you all, no matter where you may be joining us from or listening audience here in Mississippi or online, you guys can go to wishofalifetime.org slash Cupid to see how you can be able to create a card and be a part of the campaign this year. Tom, really appreciate the time and looking forward to having you back again. Thank you. Thanks for having me and, and looking forward to uh, 
all the cards that your listeners will be able to deliver and um, wishing you all a great day and, and happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate that. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.